Hi again, this is Nadia. In this video, we're going to continue learning about more complex payment forms. Previously, we used the lookup field to create a product catalog and connect that catalog to our order form. Now we're going to take our order form to the next level and learn how to set and track specific quantities for each item. Right now, our catalog is simply a list of product names and prices. While I would love for my customers to be able to order an infinite number of items, the reality is that I only have so much of each item available. In this case, I'm going to use the quantity limit feature to make sure that my customers can only order a limited number of items. To do this, I'm going to open my product catalog form and add a number field named quantity. This number field is going to allow us to set a numeric limit for each entry. Then I'm going to go to my entries page and fill out the quantity available for each item in my inventory. By the way, you can really use quantity limits for any scenario in which you want to limit the number of times that a value is selected. It's useful for things like product orders and ticket sales, but it can also apply to things like signups, reservations, or even unique email addresses. Next, we're going to go back to our order form and open up the lookup field settings. Here you can set the limit quantity option to the quantity field on the product catalog form. Also, don't forget to include an error message to display when the quantity is exceeded. Next, I'm just going to add an order to my form and buy out the entire stock of buttons. Now when I access the form and attempt to purchase another button, we see that they're out of stock. The only way for me as a seller to offer more buttons would be to either delete an existing order or increase the quantity of buttons available in my catalog. Another really cool thing about quantity limits is that you can reference certain properties and calculations, properties like quantity used and quantity remaining. For example, you can add a calculation field to your form and reference the quantity remaining value from the product lookup field. This way, customers can view the quantity remaining for each product. Lastly, just keep in mind that quantity limits are basically first come, first serve. So if two customers have the same item in their order at the same time, the person who submits the form first is going to get the item first. And if that item happens to then go out of stock, the second customer won't be able to submit their order until they change their selection. If you're interested in learning more about collecting payment on your forms, be sure to check out the Collecting Payment section on our website support page. You can also reach out to our support team if you have any questions.